Hello all, this is a quick tutorial on the uh, BioLegend uh, Mini ELISA plate reader. Uh, it's a neat gizmo that we uh, got a few uh, months ago. Um, makes ELISA reading fairly easy. Um, the instrument is pretty small, uh, connects to the computer with a USB port. And so uh, it essentially lives in a box most of the time. Uh, it, if you want to use it, it's on the scheduler. We don't really charge for it. So just come in the lab and uh, ask the staff uh, to give it to you. You can use it in our facility or just bring it uh, in your own lab and run it there. So once you install the software, you'll find it under the BioLegend Bio folder. It's called Mini ELISA Plate Reader app. And it's quite straightforward. Uh, you can give your assay a name, protocol a name, description. If you have a cool logo you'd like to use, you can do that here. Uh, decide on your uh, method of reading, so endpoint of kinetic. Uh, decide on your evaluation method. Typically, it's going to be quantitative. And so from there, you decide your fitting method. And then uh, finally, decide on the uh, layout of your plates. And so you decide where the standard samples and the blanks are going to go. Clear is used to uh, correct any mistakes you might have done. Uh, essentially, decide on the standards, click on that button, decide on your duplicate pattern. And simply put it, put them in place. Same for planks. And then my sample, same thing, decide on your pattern of duplicates. There you go. And click away. Now, all of these will need to be uh, renamed, obviously. Uh, copy and paste is your friend here. So if you already have your list of samples uh, in a text uh, file or maybe a spreadsheet on Excel, you can simply uh, copy and paste all of these right into the software. Same thing with the standards. Uh, so you could do the calculation on a spreadsheet to know uh, if you, if, as far as the dilution of your uh, different uh, standard points. So once you've done that, let's go to readout. And now we're going to prepare the instrument. The first step is making sure that the um, plate reader is empty. There's no plate in it. Uh, then simply click on OK to proceed to the initialization. when you get prompted, you can insert the plate. There's a little diagram on the instrument telling you what's the orientation of that plate. And then sim click OK. And the reading gets done. Now, all of these readings over here, obviously I didn't do a, an, an actual ELISA for this tutorial. So these are all empty wells, uh, but typically you would get the readings for your standards and samples. Um, the data will be graphed automatically. And you get the results at the bottom here. Um, the data is unsaved. And so I would make a point of saving that data by clicking on this floppy disk over here. What we save is a .byoa, which I believe stands for bring your own uh, Armagnac. I don't know. Um, just give your assay a name. Essentially, what you're saving here is a file that uh, you'll be able to revisit using this specific app. Um, if you want to use a different uh, export method, you can go to export at the bottom, and you can save your data as a PDF. or as a CSV or as something called CSV in German, which I don't know what it is. So we'll stick to a CSV. Now, if I go to my document folder where I save those files, you'll find my PDF first, which is essentially a display of what we had in the app. or the CSV file that you can open through a spreadsheet and redo the analysis any way you want. 
that's pretty much all there is to know about this particular instrument. So I'll talk to you later.